Hello YouTube, this is Dutch Bushcraft Knives and today I want to show you my top 5 knives. That is really hard for me to pick a top 5 because um, I love all my knives and I have quite a lot of knives so it's really hard for me to uh, really pick top 10 or top 5 in this occasion. So yeah, I'll show you what my top 5 uh, at this moment is. So my number 1 knife is the Fognieven A1 and uh, that is 50% um, because of what I have done with this knife and uh, the nostalgic feeling I have with this knife and it's 50% uh, performance so this is this knife is a really good performer and I really like it uh, it's very all-round it's a survival knife um, but my uh, bushcraft tasks um, I don't really carve a lot and stuff like that so this also fits my bushcraft very well and yeah overall uh, doesn't need any care carefree sheath carefree knife very robust very heavy duty and yeah you can really do everything you want with this you can make feather sticks it's very sharp VG10 steel is awesome so yeah really good knife so my second place is the Bar Griffa Aurora and CPM 3V with the natural um, canvas, my card handle. And yeah, why I really like this knife is because this knife is a mid sized knife, but you can do uh, smaller knife tasks very well with this knife. But it can also still uh, baton really good. So this is even a more all round knife than this um, Volkniven A1. This really is the all-round knife to go with for me and the CPM3 is one of my favorite steels uh, I like it even better than VG10 um, the handle geometry is very good very comfortable um, yeah there's just nothing nothing bad about this knife in my opinion I really love it I had to get used to this kind of aggressive geometry with this kind of spear point to it but um, yeah this is my second favorite knife uh, close to my first favorite knife. I think this is my favorite user and this is my all-time favorite just because I have so much um, emotional value to this uh, knife so yeah second place Aurora from Bog River in CPM 3V. Third place uh, is the Enzo Trapper in O1 steel. Uh, not a carefree knife, this is really a bushcraft knife in my opinion. Um, good at carving, uh, it has a Scandi edge which I made Scandivex. Scandivex is one of my favorite edges of all time. Uh, it's very durable and you can make a really nice mirror shine on the whole bevel doesn't scratch um, the blade itself but like I said before I really don't care about that but um, yeah Scandivex is one of my favorite uh, bevel geometries of all time uh, the handle very natural as you can see this is curly birch really love it uh, feels good uh, handle is not as com comfortable as Bark River or Falcon Even, but yeah, I just really love how simple this knife is. The simplicity and effectiveness of this knife. And also, I've this is one of my first good knives, and uh, I've been through a lot with this knife, so again, emotional value as well. But yeah, very lovely knife. Simple sheath, simple knife. Performs like star. Third place, uh, fourth place, I mean, is the Gunny Elmex. Um, I really love the size of of, uh, of Elme or the size of Gunny knives. Uh, it's just a really nice utility knife. You can carry it for EDC, but it's an excellent camp knife, uh, bushcraft knife, 
or small survival knife. And uh, the Elmac steel is is the the best steel I have in my opinion. This steel keeps an edge like uh, like crazy. Yeah, this is really my favorite steel. Uh, Desert Ironwood handle is very nice to look at. Uh, if I had to buy this knife again, I would go with something else than Desert Ironwood because uh, it would be a shame to damage this. So I'm always a little bit careful with this knife. And uh, yeah, that's a shame because this knife is made to be used real hard because it's an excellent performer. But again, handle geometry is excellent. One of the best geometries I have had on any knife. Uh, Omex Steel is the best performer of all my steels in my opinion because I don't care about uh, how hard it is to sharpen a knife. Um, this is my favorite sheath, uh, the Knife Ship Free sheath from um, it's created by Sharpshooter I think or by Great Lake Leatherworks, I don't know, it's unreadable because I put wax on it. But yeah, this is my favorite knife and my favorite sheath. Uh, or not my favorite knife, but one of my favorite knives. So yes. And on the fifth place, my um, Falkneven F1 in VG10. Uh, I know I have the F1 Pro in COS steel, but um, this I haven't tested uh, as much as needed. So I cannot say if this is my favorite knife or whatever. This might replace my regular uh, Falkneven because I really like the geometry of the uh, new geometry of this knife. But for now, it's still the Falkneven F1 in VG10. I really love uh, the handle. Some people don't really like the handle, but I really like the handle. It's warm in winter. Um, VG10, excellent steel, really easy to sharpen. Uh, gets extremely sharp. Um, very good feather sticker and again like the like the Buck River Gunny uh, excellent camp bushcraft knife and yeah carefree again so yeah I, I just really love this uh, excellent quality and very robust so this is my fifth place and I have to admit, I have a runner up, and that is the Mora Bushcraft Force. Why do I love this knife so much? Why is it a runner up? Um, well, because Mora uh, is, delivers just very good quality for a very low price, and uh, I think this handle of the Bushcraft Force uh, has. Is worth the extra money over uh, the Mora Companion or one of the cheaper ones and yeah this is an excellent very excellent handle very cheap knife still the 12c27 performs really well um, it's, it's, it's thin but it's very sturdy and yeah why this knife is a runner-up is because uh, I really don't have to worry about this knife because it's so cheap, I can break it, I can scratch it, I can do whatever I want with it and I don't have to be worrying about this knife. And that is also worth something in my opinion. Just um, being free to use your knife for everything without fearing of damaging it or losing it or um, that it gets stolen or something. Yeah. So this is my runner up knife. So I'll lay them out for you. Number one. Is the Falkneven A1 in VG10. I'll do them without the handles. Falkneven A1 in VG10. Number two. Bargraf Aurora in CPM 3V. Um, number three. Is... And the Trapper in 01 with its simplicity. Number four, 
Got any Elmex? Which is first production run, of course, because it's pretty new. <laughs> um, and number five is very nice, lovely bushcraft blades, and the runner-up, the Mora Bushcraft Force. So yeah, these are my top five favorite knives, and it's really hard to pick these because I have so many other knives I also really love. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about my knives, and yeah, thank you for watching.